I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning here at ASD, and this week I have Matt Glover, who's visiting us from uh, the Cincinnati area in the United States. Matt has been with us, I think this is your fifth, fifth I think visit? Fifth time, yeah. Fifth yeah. Time, yeah. And so um, I'm going to ask Matt to explain to you what he's been doing here for us, uh, with us this past week. Yeah, and it's been, first of all, it's been so nice to be back. It's so different when I'm working in a school, and I work in lots of international schools, but mm -hmm. when I'm in a school that I've been in over time, it's such a different conversation than when I, the first time I'm right. someplace. Right. So it's so nice this week. We've been really been thinking about supporting individual students in teaching writing. And so in particular, thinking about writing conferences, which are those old conversations we have mm -hmm. with students where we're really at the heart of teaching, where I figure out what exactly do you need as a writer. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most individualized teaching that we have and the most challenging teaching that we have because yeah. it's in the moment thinking, it's that thinking that um, right now I have to decide what I'm going to teach you, which is very different than whole group instruction. Right. And so this week we've really been thinking in particular about one little part of that, thinking about how do we best teach children in a conference, because um, we always want to be thinking about that difference between just telling them what to do in their writing, reminding them what to do in their writing, correcting. We can do all those things, but none of those things are really teaching. And what we want to make sure that we're doing is that we're really showing the child how to do something. Mm -hmm. So this week we've really been thinking about um, the teaching part of the conference. How do we really show a child how to do something so that it impacts their, their writing? And you've been doing modeling some of that work yep. in classrooms. Mm -hmm. And we've had our teachers and our principals uh, and even our director coming in and watching what you're doing um, as, a, as a model, mm -hmm. and then what happens? Yeah, and then teachers are trying that out, and so, mm -hmm. it's, again, what's so nice about coming back someplace right. is that, um, like when the first time I was here several years ago, yeah. we were just kind of watching and trying to figure out what this all right. looks like. Um, but now it's much more, okay, let me just show one thing, and now we'll flip the role. So now, then I'll do the first conference, but then the teacher's doing the second one, and we're coaching right. into it. And even then, it's not just me watching and coaching. It's really, let's think together through this. But it's a little different when the teacher takes the lead on that. Right. A little bit more of a risk to be able to do that. And right. teachers have felt very comfortable saying, oh, yeah, well, it's just we're, do, we're thinking together about our practice right. as teachers. And so you can think that a little differently when the teacher's mm -hmm. taking the lead on it rather right. than I am. And so then I'm doing some of that coaching into that. Yeah. So we'll pause midway through. We'll talk about what we've seen, we'll talk about what are we thinking we might teach, how might we teach that in particular this week we've been thinking about. But it's a very different um, collaborative kind of model right. in thinking about how do we um, become better teachers rather than, okay, just watch me do it. It's right. to think through this together. Yeah, and I love the way when I was in the room that you, you, know, you could pull aside and have that little yeah. conversation and then get right back into it well, and, and which really is so helpful. which is so crucial because what you know when we're teaching a child something there's all these decisions like in a typical right. conference we're Instantly. making 10 15 yeah. 20 decisions that go by very fast yes a lot of those decisions sometimes people aren't even aware that they're making well right. what's so nice about this is um, that we can slow that thinking down mm -hmm. and we can of course if we can slow the thinking down and become more aware of the decisions that we're making and how to make yeah. better decisions then we can do that more efficiently more consistently um, in real time in conferences right as right. we're doing those on a day-by-day -day basis so really helping our teachers really find their craft yeah and and that's so important because we know that there's going to be such an impact then on the student learning so You've been here numerous times, as we, as we said. What have you seen differently, say, in this visit than what you saw in the last visit? Where have we moved? Yeah, I certainly think um, one of the areas that we've seen that um, certainly a change is just um, the conversation around conferring. Mm -hmm. And that um, this week we're able to just jump right into some things very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, this week I'm not explaining, for example, or really thinking through what are the tools that we'd want to have with us during a conference. Right. Teachers have had those right there. It's just a matter yeah. of saying, okay, which one would be the best tool to use right now? That's a right. much a, a deeper conversation mm -hmm. um, and, and something that certainly several years ago we weren't talking about. Right. It's even, I think, a different conversation than a year ago. Even if I think about back over the years, um, you know, one of the things we often talk about is having real world examples of writing mm -hmm. to show students here's what mm -hmm. this would look like. It's not a conversation that we're really having now. It's much more, we have those, but how yeah. do we use those? Right. It's just been so interesting to see that conversation shift over time. Right. Um, 
to, and to where we're able to build on things and keep going deeper with things, rather yeah. than feel like we just kind of keep cycling back over. Right, yeah. yeah, so that over time, development is really crucial. Yeah, it really is, because it's, especially something like how to teach a child in this conversation in the moment, mm -hmm. again, because that's such challenging teaching. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole group instructions, mm -hmm. standing and telling everyone what to do, yeah. and the whole, relatively easy. Yeah. This is much, much more difficult, more challenging teaching, and the kind of thing that no one ever figures out. I don't know anyone yeah. who says, oh yeah, I've got conferring with writers figured out. I know just, yeah. I, I always yeah. know exactly what to say. Yeah. It's, it's not it's that so kind of teaching, right, yeah. because it's so in the moment. Yeah. And so that's why we spend so much time thinking and, and I, trying and to I get better And I love that our that. teachers are so willing to put themselves out there and, and be risk takers and have a group of their peers watch them as they do it yeah. and and debrief with you about what they did. And I, I think, think that's always And I think their questions are so different yeah. too. I mean yeah. we're getting questions this week that we didn't get a couple yeah. of years ago, right. right? But as we see teachers thinking evolve and be, yeah. um, think um, about these things differently and deeper, mm -hmm. just the questions that people ask are different. And of course, what's nice in a school like this is there's such a climate of, oh yeah, we can all ask these questions where we don't need to have all the answers. Our whole job is to be yeah. figuring out how to get better right. and better at that, which is just such a testament to yeah. the, um, the culture of learning in a school like this. And, and nice that you know, we, we do have new teachers joining us every mm -hmm. year and then you know, bringing them into, into the conversation, letting yep. them see what it looks like and we're able to differentiate.